the average person take six months to two years to really learn how to do it. Or you can turn around and do what we do. We accelerate the learning because... Hi, everyone. My name is Sheldon, and I'm here today with Mr. Ted Thomas, the authority on tax lien certificates and tax deeds. What we're going to discuss today is tax lien investing for beginners. So you've heard of tax lien investing, and uh, you want to find out how to get started. Well, you're in the right place because the business requires a lot of research. For beginners, in this business, who want to learn more about tax investing, what do they have to do to get started? That's pretty easy to get started. Uh, for someone that's never done anything about this, they could just call their local county and ask if they sell tax lien certificates or tax deeds, and then they'll know what their county sells. Once they find that out, they can say, where on the website do I find information? So they can find very basic information right there. It costs you nothing. Your county website, they're going to tell you about what a tax lien is, when they're going to sell it, what the rules for buying it, when the auction is going to take place, and that kind of thing. So now you can go to that auction, and you could just sit back on your hands, fold your arms, whatever you want to do, and watch an auction take place. So you now have a basic understanding of what took place. Then you could watch it take place. Then you could start building your database in your brain of what you want. Do you want to do this business? Do you want to try to buy properties for 10 to 20 cents on the dollar and then resell them? Do you want to buy them and then fix them up? You can do that and you can learn. And if the average person take six months to two years to really learn how to do it. Or you can turn around and do what we do. We accelerate the learning because we have learning courses and we have facilitators and we have guides and we have uh, coaches that teach people. All right. So I'm in, I'm in the business of teaching people. So obviously I have to pay the people. But if you want to just do a freebie and do it on your own, just go to the county and you'll get a ton of information right there. Pretty much fast tracks all this with your systems and your teaching. Um, so what would be some of the common mistakes or perhaps misconceptions that beginners make when investing in tax liens? Okay. Mistakes and misconceptions. Well, let's, right. let's kind of divide those up. The big mistake that people make, the number one big mistake is they think they're going to get rich. You are not going to get rich by next Friday. That's not going to happen. So you're going to buy a tax lien certificate. What you're doing is you're paying someone else's taxes. You're going to get a piece of paper that's a certificate, and you won't get paid on that, piece, that certificate until that person comes in and pays you. So you might have to wait six months, one year, or as long as three years before you get paid. So that there's nothing getting rich quick about that. All right, so anybody can buy a tax certificate. Some of them are for sale for $500, some are $2,000, some are $20,000. Okay, and they'll have thousands of those certificates. Okay, they're all public records, and you can choose the one you want. So mistake number one is figuring out where the tax lien certificate is. Is it residential land? Is it a farm? Is it uh, rural land? Is it grazing land? Is it a industrial property? All right, so you need to know what you're buying. All right, so the big mistake people make is they get a list of tax leads in there and they just go like this and buy one. They point to one and they decide that you need to do more than that. You need to do what we call due diligence in the business. You need to not only know what it is, but you need to go look at it. In other words, boots on the ground, walk there, look at it, drive your car there, whatever he's going to do. Because what if it's a, a nice property, but it's in a bad area? What are you going to do with it? All right, so you got to, got to think about that. So people make a lot of mistakes with tax liens and with tax deeds. So you're saying boots on the ground, Ted. Now, I live in Chicago, and I'm looking at, you know, something, you know, uh, some properties in Arizona. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to drive there. How would I be able to have boots on the ground and have that scenario taken care of properly? Well, 20 years ago, you couldn't. What you'd have to do is you'd have to get on the airplane and go to Arizona, or drive the car, whatever you're going to do. Today, you can do a lot of things. They have, they have a GIS ma mapping system. GIS simply means geographical information system. So 
this is the Earth, and this this satellite rotates around, and it's taking pictures, and it'll actually be live. You can, when the satellite comes over, you can have it come down close to the property and check it. So you can look at freeways, you can look at houses. Of course, everybody knows about Google Maps and that. But the problem is most of that information is dated. Uh, you could have neighbors go take pictures of it if you want. You could hire people to go take pictures. I mean, you can, if you really want a, a property, there's lots of ways to check it. I could take about 10 to 15 minutes and give you lots of different ways to check a property. But you wouldn't want to buy a property unless you had either boots on the ground yourself or someone you trusted and looked at the property. Going back to um, the tax lien investing, um, how do I get paid? Do I get paid from the homeowner or do I get paid from the county? How does that work? Well, the counties all have different rules. Now, there's 3,000 counties and about half of the counties, about 1,500 of them, sell tax lien certificates. And when they sell the certificate, it's just a piece of paper, and they sell you that certificate, you receive it in, in the mail. So you just hold on to that certificate, and okay. whoever you pay taxes for, that property owner can redeem. In other words, they can buy this certificate back. Oh, nice. Really nice. So um, what would be the benefits and the drawbacks of tax lien investing compared with other real estate investing strategies, Ted? Well, tax liens are probably the safest investment that... Um, it, uh, that you could buy because when you buy a tax certificate, you're investing your money directly with the county, so now your money's protected, and you're going to get checks back from the county, or you're going to get the property. All right, so now that's the positive. What's the negative? The negative is yeah, you don't have any control. Uh, you're going to take your money and invest it with the county, and then you have to wait until this person is going to pay. All right, now they're going to pay, so let's use the Arizona example again. They could pay up to 16%. However, those certificates, people are allowed to bid on them. So you went to the auction, and before you got your certificate, someone bid it down to 15 or 14 or 13 or 12. So the, what happens is there's a lot of control that you've lost. Someone else could bid it all the way down to 1%. I don't know if you want to pay someone else's taxes for 1%. So there could be a, there's a bidding process that takes place there. All right, now. If you didn't look at the property, that would be big mistake number one. So a lot of people buy a certificate and they didn't look. Now, what if the certificate was on a property that was now covered up by a lake? It was underwater. What could you do with the certificate? You couldn't do anything except put on your scuba mask and go down and look at it, right? All right, people do these things all the time. Uh, here in Florida, you have a big lake in the middle. It's called Okeechobee. And... People buy hundreds of lots that are under the water because they don't go look. Well, well the lot isn't going to pay you back. You're not going to get it. You're going to end up with a lot, and you're not going to get paid back. So that's a big risk. That's a big risk because you want a property that couldn't be resold. A man or a woman would marry a new partner, and they wouldn't marry their new partner without looking at him. I wouldn't buy a property, whether it was a tax lien certificate or a property, unless I had a chance to look at it or I had someone that I trusted look at it. What are the, the different tax lien auctions? Well, all the states can have their own rules. So um, the, the United States came came into a, a, a great country that it is, state at its time. They didn't it didn't all magically become the United States. They started out with the colonies, and then they slowly became, became more. So each one of these states have their own rules. Then within the state, there's counties. Now, the county is the first level of taxation. So... Each county can have its own rule. For example, in Maryland, okay, you could have one county that says we're going to charge 12% on a tax certificate. Right next door, you could have another county that's charging 24% on a tax certificate. So a certain amount of research and learning is necessary. You don't want to just say, oh, I'm going to point and buy one of the tax certificates, which hundreds of people do, but that's a huge risk to take. I wouldn't take that risk. How would you initiate a foreclosure on a property if the owner doesn't pay? I wouldn't. I'd call an attorney and have them do it for me. That's the proper way to do things. Call an attorney and have them do it. What do you know about foreclosure? You don't know anything about it, so I don't know anything about it. So I'll call an attorney for 500 or 700 bucks. They'll do a foreclosure. That's easy. How do you find and research properties with tax liens in your specific area that you want to get into? doesn't matter where you are. It's always the same. Every county will issue a newspaper 
and put it on their website. So they will have a newspaper that's filled with all the tax liens. None of this information is hidden, but people today don't realize that there's county governments, there's municipal governments, you know, there's different governments. Each one of those governments is a separate taxing jurisdiction. They all need tax. Why do they need tax? You have to pay the police department, you have to pay the fire department, you have to be school teachers, you have to be the county employees. Awesome. That's That makes it clear. Uh, by the way, folks, I'm asking questions that have been handed to me by Ted's research team. And what they do is they monitor the comments online and the questions people ask. So if you have questions or comments, go ahead and post them and the staff will get your answers from Ted. What are some of the resources or tools that you would recommend for learning more about tax lien investing? Well, first of all, um, a person that's going to do this shouldn't just snap their finger and decide they're going to do it. You're going to have to educate yourself. Now, you don't need me to educate yourself. You can just go to the county and find rules at the county. You could just go to auctions and do it that way. That's how people did it originally. Uh, we've taken all of that and put it into learning systems. I mean, real learning systems. And then rather than just say, here's a book, study it. We have guides and facilitators to help people get get through the learning process. In other words, accelerate the learning process. We have classes. We do a class that's six hours. Now it's a virtual class. So anybody could sit at home and they could watch a virtual class about tax leads, about tax deeds. They could see people that have done it. They could learn the step-by-step -step process. And that class starts at 11 in the morning, goes all the way through to five in the afternoon. Now it's not free, okay? We charge $47 for the class. Hundreds of people show up, but that doesn't matter because it's all online, it's all on Zoom. So you can sit at home and watch and learn from six hours of that. Folks, go ahead, click on like and subscribe and ask questions in the comment section. Also, uh, Ted, you have a system where you call it the calendar. Um, can you elaborate a bit on what that does for folks? Sure, well, what I found out years ago is there's way too much information for the average person to comprehend. Yeah. There's over 3,000 counties, okay? All of these counties are giving information. So what we, what we did is we said, how are we gonna help people out? So the county will tell you via a newspaper. So you can call and say to the county, I wanna buy the local newspaper, you can buy it. So now we're gonna get 3,000 newspapers to find out about 3,000 guys. So rather than do that, we created an electronic calendar. All right, so I call it interactive map and auction calendar. What they can do is they can go online, they can just move their, move their cursor and be online. And they can go to that online and watch this happen. They can just go below me and see the whole thing happen. All right, in closing, Ted, what advice would you give someone who's just starting to explore tax defaulted property investing as a potential investment strategy? Okay, well, it's just starting. It's really easy to get started. First of all, check your local county, find out whether they do tax leads or tax deed, read up on the website there. So that'll give you a chance to get started. Find out if, what the next auction is. That's a good place to start. Then the next step from that, if you want to come to a formal class, I do formal classes twice a month. Okay, the class is six hours. Okay, the class is going to start at 11 in the morning. It's going to go all the way through until six at night. That's a lot of instruction. It's not a free class. You charge $47 for it. You'll learn A to Z, tax lien certificates, tax deposit property. You'll actually see people that do it. There's five other people that teach the class along with me, and, it, and it's a good place for you to get started. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to get onto that. Listen, Ted, I want to thank you so much for, you know, letting us know how to begin and how to start with tax lien investing. And I look forward to another sequence with you and more questions and more answers from you. And I want to thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to seeing you next time. So long. Don't forget, request your free auction list right below me.